So look at Vince Williams, who's done so much for this team. Leads and points, rebounds, total assists. Now that Ace Ball wins back, eventually Ace going to take control of that stat. But he's second in steals and blocks the senior from Toledo. Just really vital in so many categories. Jason, I was actually stunned to see that it's his first double-double of his career. I mean, the kid knows how to play. Coach Rhodes talked so much about how well Vince has been coached in the high school. He's carried that over into college and developed his game. Does a little bit of everything. And so for him to notch a double-double here so late in his career, I was stunned by that. But he'll make a lot of plays. We'll see that this afternoon. Well, the tap controlled by VCU, but it's the Explorers with the early steal and the stuff by Anwar Gill, the sophomore from Washington, D.C. Jason, I really like the start from LaSalle in terms of going to the 2-3 zone, but there again, these are these turnovers that VCU forces over and over. And Ace Baldwin, sophomore from Baltimore again. Nice offensive rebound attempt there by Deshaun Shepard, but loses the handle. Inside to Loach, gathers and lays it in. And there's a timeout coming. Ashley Howard's got to get his guys rallied. And that win against Dayton the other night. And part of the all-rookie team last year. And hello, Deshaun Shepard elevating to the max for the flush. 4-3 and a half for the Rams on the prowl again. And that's a tough take for two from Keyshawn Kerr. Could have taken another dribble to get to a better spot. And there's that. There's that magician. There is that man. Ace wheeling it in. Fourth assist of the half along with four points and three steals. Ace has got to get out of his game. And certainly more VCU because he doesn't turn the ball over that much. But any 50-50 ball, Coach Rhodes doesn't want him to throw. Talk about throwing 80-20 balls where you know with certainty yeah, and he will catch it. And 90-10s, that helps too. There's a 90-10, and the result is a thunderous jam for more. That's great momentum for LaSalle. And again, your hustle, like stay with it, grind, come up with loose balls. Understand you can get it to the big fella, and he'll make us all look good. Kill. He'll cut, kick out for more. He's got that. And he does, drains it. He's got that. And he is developing. He's playing like the high major kid that he is. He scored the rim, block shots, rebound, but he's stretching his game. Third field goal for more. He's got eight. LaSalle down 10. Excellent patience there from Kern to find a way through. Will Ray, one of the best guys in the A-10 and O boards, over three per game, complaining he got fouled as he went for that one. Curry with contact, no call there either, too. And now Christian Ray gathers and calms things down. I'm, I'm comfortable with the half-court pace for LaSalle. Nice move. Woo. Beautiful stuff, and the drive is successful for Gill. And Coach Rhodes knows that's a key to improving his own offensive numbers, which have been slow to come so far this year. Got to call that one. Well, Jack Clark trying to get a spark to his game, his teams. He'll take it off the window from the corner. You rarely see that ever from the corner going off the glass. We made that at the Y on the park. Dudes were like, come on, man. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> all this preparation that we put in to getting our guys ready. At the end of the day, you just want them to hoop. Just come out there and play loose. Ward feathers it out. Clark, that's what he's looking for. Yeah, he's got that. He really does. There's, there's something about this kid. I just think he's got future with him. He's got the skill set. Consistency is a virtue in Division One basketball. And that's what he's got to bottle up. And so Honus, he's got the ability to fill it up. Jason, we promised you in the open, it's going, you're going to get 40 minutes of effort from VCU. It's just what they do. They don't know anything different. Moore picking up the short range shot, sticks it in and walk. Coming off an offensive rebound. VCU. But maybe that opens up a little more opportunity for Moore now inside. No doubt. If you can make people pay a lot. Ooh, Nick Kern bringing the funk. Talk about making people pay again. Listen, certainly some worthy contenders trying to continue and enhance their resumes, like a VCU, Dayton, St. Body, Davidson, and the like. Brantley there with the theft and the bucket. He's played well. He really has. Can't have the wheels fall off. That's for both teams. You've got to play the right way. And LaSalle is doing that, sharing the basketball, and continuing to compete. 
And that's Moore getting it to go, especially out of the COVID pause for this LaSalle team trying to find some rhythm. Defense doing what it does for VCU, fueling the victory here and getting it done. 85-66 the final. Rams get their sixth straight W, back-to-back -back wins in Atlantic 10 play.